although your time has been split, um, I think it's been good for the citizens of the county and also and a lot of the citizens of Blackstone. But uh, after January 1, if they don't have anybody. Yeah. I agree. Right. Right. They need to find somebody by January. Does the motion include that, that, that this is the last extension? Is that what you're saying? And that's Alman fine. Yeah. The last extension. That's, yes. that's true. <laughs> and this is um, Alman, Alman and Nash, correct? correct? In this motion? Any discussion? And the, and the agreement would end as soon as somebody's hired, even if early. I would give a No, I think it would. Yeah, January I think it would need to I, 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 I would typically agree with you if, if I didn't think it would come. I think if they hire somebody, you're looking at 30 days for somebody to show up anyway. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think it's literally be. I don't think they're going to walk in tomorrow morning and take the job. They're doing interviews tomorrow, right? They they gonna go well. We're we're doing, doing interviews tomorrow, yes. but I dare say we're gonna hire a police chief. <laughs> but tomorrow. it may take a week or two weeks or whatever. So. See my point? I dare say we're gonna do that tomorrow night. But that's not our concern. It's county. It's county, yeah. January one is all that our constituents need. Any other discussion? There's a motion by Mr. Allman, a second by Mr. Nash, to continue this agreement at the rate of two hundred dollars per hour. With this, with this um, agreement ending on January 1st, I ask for a roll call vote, vote beginning with Mr. Page. Nay. Aye. 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 Motion carries 6-1. And I want to correct something. I said I was being, the town was being reimbursed. My hourly rate it is actually 100 bucks an hour, and I and I apologize for that. I misstated. Now, Mr. No, Mr. Mr. Allman, will you... Were you dictating that what yeah, he gets he paid by the it. county as I well? Was, I was, what he gets paid by the county on his own time is, is, is up, up to him. I would highly encourage you to, to adopt the same rate for yourself, but okay. as for the no. town and citizens. I will continue. I told him 100 bucks an hour, so I'll stay at 100 bucks. All right. Um, it's time for the mayor's 10 minutes. It's supposed to be mayor minute. Are you all ready? Uh, no committee referrals. I'm sorry. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. I am rather tired this evening um first of all let me let me say as a mayor i'm in favor to do anything we can for our firemen we're um we're very blessed um and i don't know what we would do without them but i do i do like the council's direction tonight is to um look into that for the budget of next year and i think i, I would encourage the finance committee to look into um increasing the um for both the fire department and for our town associates. Um, second item I have is um, on November the 9th, um, I conducted a desserts and discussions with the mayor, and this was at, at the inn at Blackstone um, on Thursday the 9th at 7 o'clock, and I believe it, Miss Wright, I think we were out of there around 9 ish, is that correct? We had about, I don't think we got an official count, but between 45 and 50 people, including we had, I'm proud of y'all, we had four members of council um, were there. Um, I think it was a great opportunity. Uh, if any of y'all that were there would like to speak about it, I certainly would love to hear it. Um, did y'all have any comments about the, the event? I heard a lot of people that were there that wanted to see us do things as that on a regular basis. Um, and they, they wanted to tell their uh, colleagues in business that, you know, this was happening again, maybe next year or whatever we decide. But it, it, was, uh, it was attended by four council members, and it was also attended by uh, Supervisor-elect uh, Collins and Norton. And uh, we had a discussion that I want to talk to you all about is that Mr. Watkins – of Watkins Jewelers suggested that we take some sort of action similar to what we did when uh, when, it, when the town was helping to keep Fort Pickett, uh, U.S. Army Garrison. We had we took we did a lot of fanfare. We uh, we um, had a couple busloads. I think you went on the trip, Philip, and, and it was, had a couple of busloads that showed up at the Capitol. Um, so that was the consensus of everyone there. I'd like to ask uh, Council. Um, to authorize uh, Councilman Allman and myself to work with the crew officials. Um, if you didn't know, Mayor Phil is now the town manager of crew, uh, and I don't I don't know when this when he's going to resign and when he's going to take his new position. 
but I, I feel like he will he will do a great job of getting some pressure on the capital about our water issue. Do you feel that way, Mr. Manager? I do think he'll he's he has made his position known as the mayor that opposed <laughs> to this move is kind of death by Prince Edward County. And um, I think we're going to continue that and have a devote more and potentially full time effort to him. Mr. Allman has made a tremendous investment in time and attending <coughs> all of these um, these council meet I mean these water meetings and uh, it's been going on for quite some time. He, he's the chairman of our our uh, fire and water committee. He's well versed with the situation. Um, I'd like to ask council either to make a motion or common consent to allow us to represent the council to do whatever we can do without encumbering you cost wise, but um, to meet with uh, the crew officials and to see what we can do with Phillips help to maybe visit the Capitol or whatever we need to do. So common, common sense is briefing after. Absolutely. Uh, briefing at my mayor's meeting, my mayor's minute. Mm -hmm. Is that agreeable? Some heads and shaking? Yes. Sure. All right. Okay, so I, I will contact um, Phil Miskovic in whatever capacity he has and tell him our support and that Jake and I will be taking care of that. Um, I received a letter from Mr. James Watkins. He uh, he is um, he is a resident on 7th Street. Um, the late great Sam Moncure was mentioned tonight. He's, he is living in his former residence. Um, and he sent me a letter about the noise at the end. I hope and pray I sent it to y'all today. Um, you have it on your desk. Um, Manager, Manager Van Orbeck, would you like to interject or speak about the letter? We want council to digest it. What's your, what's your idea on this? I want to make sure everybody understands the benefit of what they I think there was some items in the newspaper recently that said the council had potentially not taken the responsibilities seriously or had delegated responsibility. I think council did vote on a noise ordinance waiver for this wedding. I don't think anybody at the dais that day thought it was going to be from 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock at night, and it was pretty loud, and by all accounts, it was fairly noxious, okay? We're happy to have the business here. We want to support those folks, but at the same time, 12 hours of wedding music on the outside, it probably was not what this council was expecting when they voted to waive the noise <laughs> ordinance. Uh, we want to make sure everybody understands that each of these requests are taken on a case-by-case -case basis. Town council always votes on them. Town staff never votes on them. The only authorization that you've given to the town manager and to the police chief is to close streets on certain circumstances like a birthday party or a funeral or something like that that the police chief and I can get together whereas street closures are the typical uh, are typically handled by the town council. Town staff does not waive the noise ordinance under any circumstance, and town council did vote on that, okay? Um, but again, case-by-case -case basis, and I think we'll handle those as they come in, but I uh, want you guys to understand that, and the folks in the audience or those that may be watching, um, I think you guys take your responsibilities pretty well, serious. I think you heard, Mr. Clayton, loud and clear. I heard the noise from my house loud and clear. Um, I think there'll be more questions asked. Oh, yeah. Whenever there's more noise. <laughs> I suspect you'd be a little more diligent. No one expected 12 hours of yeah, loud music. I really didn't like the fact that I had understood that the police visited, asked for them to turn it down, and then it went right back up. To me, that's just not a good neighbor. And mm -hmm. in my opinion, it makes some repercussions on possibly the next noise ordinance. It may not be as, uh, it may have more, more guardrails on it I to the protect main everybody. The problem was that it happened in an outdoor tent, and instead of it being indoors, I, I think, think that outdoor. maybe one of the things you may need to consider is that. Uh, uh, music may need to be on the in amplified so, music need to be inside. I know the, the letter writer is here tonight, so we're sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we didn't know 100%. What we I, that's the first one we've seen that that was that long. Yep. I will say I I live about three houses down from there, and normally yeah they, you can hear music, but this was a banger. It was a banger, and the, the house was shaking. This one's a wedding of the ch child. The house was shaking. Owner. Yeah. I don't know if it was a, I think it was a family member. I'm not sure it was a child, right? I mean, because we've had other weddings we haven't had any complaints about. That's why I was, maybe yeah, it was a little. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not on the normal, hour. it's not a normal thing. I mean, yeah, you can hear, but it's not, mm -hmm. the house ain't shaking like it was on this one, so. I'm getting a consensus. Ms. Wynn and Ms. Williams, do you want to speak up about this? Y'all in agreement with what you're hearing? 
I'd like, uh, I'd like to propose to council that I write a formal letter to Mr. Watkins um, and, and just to let him know that we care. And I'd also like to write a letter to the end and express our concerns. Common consent? Common consent. I will take care of that. Um, <coughs> Mr. Included in your mayor's minute or information, please. Absolutely. Um, if, if you like, I'll, I'll just um, I'll email yeah, it. That's right. Okay. And I'll include them in the informational package in the December <laughs> meeting. Number five is um, Ms. Ms. Bunnell's. Uh, no. You ready, Ms. You ready, Mr. Manager? Um, number five on my list is um, the Bunnell letter from their attorney uh, about the ditch adjoining their property. And I know you you um, visited that site with some members of council. Would you report? I have um, visited the site uh, on two occasions, once with Mr. Page and once with Mr. Miller and Mr. Gormuth. And we have looked at the site. Um, I don't think we've got a consensus. I think the street committee may still need some work to do on deciding. I have not heard a resolution from any of the members of the committee, but it's a pretty extensive ditch and um, I think we uh, need to work on it and figure out what you wanna do, but I don't think we need to not respond. I think we need to give a response of sorts um, and show the Benels that effort is being made to come to a resolution of I would be their delighted request. to communicate that with y'all as blessing. I would like to uh, note at this time that before we move forward with anything on this one, Mr. Somerville on Northwest Avenue and Mr. Jarvis on Fourth Drive are still in need of having their work done. Well, I believe this is scheduled. Arms, that was in the budget. Yeah, I believe arms too now. Yeah, uh, those arms. guys. Really you can, uh, if you don't mind, you can report on Somerville and the 222 Park Drive. I'll report right now if you like. Okay, yes, I would. Uh, Mr. Gormas and I were in my office and we contacted our engineer and we'll have a set of drawings on, on or before December 1st to go ahead and buy pipe and begin the process of getting the work done. Somerville, I've met with uh, Jason Walker, who is the contractor of record with our uh, concrete uh, um, annual award because there's going to have to be a series of head walls and, and drop inlets that are going to have to be built. Um, I do have a question on Somerville, and I want to get a consensus from everybody today. Um, because the council would like to extend this, how far back are we going? Are, is it the intention of council to go to the rear of his property or the rear of his yard? As far as you told him it would go. That's the railroad. Hmm. So that'll uh, triple not, the price. He's not interested in that. Yeah. I, I, mean, I never told Mr. Somerville how far we'll go. And if he says otherwise, that's not true. I told council. I we decided this in another meeting. Yeah. What did we decide? So I have to look back. I thought it was mm -hmm. 100 feet. What are we passing the motion That's to get what I thought. Mm -hmm. what? When we motion I thought it was 100 bid, feet. You know, that's what I thought. Can we, uh, good to go with 100. I just, I, I'm, I'm like, I mean, as a council member and previously sitting out there and hearing mm -hmm. talk about ditches, Divers and Northwest Avenue has been on, should have been on the unfinished business list for the past year. Right. Right. And in my honest opinion, unfinished business should, I don't know if it's a Robert's Rule of Order or what kind of order it is, should stay on the unfinished business list until it's finished. I want to get through this meeting, and mm -hmm. I'd like to, I, I agree with that. I'd like to have a list of the ongoing well, here projects. Here we are in December, and we're talking about these same ditches. And before mm -hmm. long, we're going to be talking about, oh, but we can't let him stay in the laundromat anymore because it's cold outside. Oh, we can't have but eight people in Jan's residential, but there's 12 still since January. And we're going to be back in the same cycle, and it's sad, but it's, it, I'm, I'm a part of the problem, I guess, because. But here we are. I mean, he. Well, I think we need to have, we need to have a little bit better communication on the ongoing projects, and I think I think we should have them, one page. Uh, if you have questions, um, because I think the manager is delighted to give you an update on. It. It's just it's it's a matter of time, and we haven't been doing it in the past. He's been, in my opinion, he's been giving us pertinent information when it comes available. I will tell you, let me address the point. We've not done those projects for one reason. You haven't had the cash. We have it in the budget this fiscal year. But we haven't got the cash, Wes. It's two different issues. The budget is one thing, but if you don't have money at the end of the month to pay for the pipe, you ain't got it. Okay? But you say we got money for other things. Yeah, we, I can hit the money market account. I can take it from any number of sources. But I'm trying to use it out of the checking account uh -huh. and the funds of the town. We spent $16,000 because somebody's 
back of the car with we did. on entrance. We did. One, we didn't vote on. But, but we're talking about. Uh, we did not vote. Having, I mean, no, we did not. No. Well, that's my error because I'm. I no, was we did not vote on that sixteen thousand dollars. Okay. It was February. And then two. Okay. Now we sit up here talking about ditches. Okay. Now. The newspaper put us on blast about Philip Armstrong. Now, mm-hmm. there's a big hassle that's saying, that, hey, we didn't say this and we didn't say that. But we did not say that when the paper said it. We did not dispute this man and say, no, we're not going to do this project. So Philip Arms is just like some of you. I've and I understand a, that you don't have the money, but I what I'm saying. I ain't got the saying, money, but I've got to vote unless you all change it to put in Philip Arms' pipe. Right. This council has to override or change or modify the motion that stands to do Philip Arms. I don't have the money to do it, cash-wise. I can hit your treasury bond. I can go to the CD and hit it. I can put. I can do Philip Arms' a ditch tomorrow, no problem. But that's irresponsible. We, but I think you got to put the cash together and do it correctly. I, mean, I, I, I don't mean to seem controversial, but it's <coughs> ditches as a whole mm-hmm. for the town. We go back and forth. Is it private property? Is it not private property? We need a, some kind of a plan or strategy across the whole town that will assess the whole town situation. Where's the priority? Where's the work need to be? Who's the most pain, the biggest, squeakiest wheel right now? Can I give you a piece of advice? Right now is Brunel. Can I'm I give you some advice? On Don't do private ditches as the town hasn't done them for 30 years. Don't work on private well, that ditches. That sounds awesome, but it, it just doesn't work that way. No. But that is how but it's worked for 30 years. Some of the problems in the private ditches wouldn't well, change. I can't purpose. say that we don't, but it is not town's water. Everybody says it's town's water. There's no such thing as town's water. It is everybody's water, God's water. It falls, we just channel it into certain locations. We follow the natural course of water. Those ditches are there because they used to be creeks. But if we don't do a full job when mm-hmm. we put drainage in <coughs> and it makes its own path like Bunnell's over there that goes out by That's the been there for, for years. It doesn't make it right for us. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm it's with you, been there for, for, just, for dozens of years. Yeah. 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 Huh? The curbing does not add one drop of water to that ditch. It gets there faster. Okay. It only gets there faster. There's no additional water going to that ditch than there was prior to the construction of the curb. We can't buck gravity. Gravity takes water where it's going to go. The curb and gutter was done up, uphill from them. That and all it did was make water get there quicker. Know that too, that just yeah. the That's it. He's in. No, that's not oh, true. Put me in a bad situation, Mrs. Green. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> back to Somerville's ditch. We measured it's going to be 58 feet in addition, is what to the back of his property. But mm-hmm. I think that wasn't even his property. No, the back of his yard is not the back of his property. Okay. Correct. Okay. What, what? No, I'm saying the ditch doesn't even reside on his property. That's correct. It's on another adjacent well, property. I understand and I appreciate everybody's comments, mm-hmm. but the hour is late and we have two items for closed <laughs> session. And I'm way past my minute, and I have a couple more. Please don't leave. What I'm um, saying is, we we can have a continued meeting to tomorrow night. We can, we can definitely talk about it. But you know, y'all y'all did get after me about what time we get out of this place. So I don't think we can finish this item tonight. I agree. Let's talk about it on the 28th. Okay? How about that? We'll be prepared. In the meantime, Madam Clerk, could you could you get these motions that were discussed, and we have them emailed to us, or we have them available and then we can talk about it exactly what was said and how it was said and you can move forward is that okay i ain't got banter with you on your birthday sir oh, i'm with you bro I, okay I, mean, I, I got notes it was in february okay. that the, don't uh, leave don't leave um mr cupcheck i believe his name was uh asked about he uh he he talked to the council about noise i've seen that we've been writing some tickets is that <laughs> getting better with mr cupcheck mr mr van orbit uh, yeah, is it getting better? <laughs> okay. My question is, is he, is, is he happier? Are we moving in the right direction? He seems happier. He does have a problem with a, uh, a truck getting hung up on the Lunenburg Avenue extension with some KG9 networking. Um, and we're going to be erecting some notes of the truck. I think it's a pretty benign request. And if there was a transfer failure, you have them on either a, a 
a four wheel camera or, or a camera of some sort, truck, tractor trailer using Lunenburg X10 to, I don't know, GPS turn them in the wrong place or what happened, but it was at night as well. So uh, we'll use that a couple of times. But he did say there was still some, some noise issues. Okay. Right. Yeah, he expressed to me that we could be writing a lot more tickets over there than what he expressed. I think we're on the right track. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. All right, the last item, uh, Mr. Manager, uh, we talked to earlier about the procurement policy. Do you want to speak of that? We want to make sure everybody understands a couple things. Because uh, we have contractors and folks that come in and ask for checks on a regular basis. We need to wait 30 days to pay folks, okay? I violate that sometimes it isn't at 30 i violate that because i have contractors that'll come to me hey man i can't pay the contractors or my subcontractors for these houses and that sort of thing so we get out in front um but i'm asking you guys to endorse and promote net 30. i want to have the ability to to change that if i have to because i do have circumstances i know there's been some discussion about uh requests being made for checks under 30 days i would like to let everybody know it is 30 days but I do have certain circumstances when I need to do it. I'd like you to endorse that and continue, and I'd like to make sure that we pay based on an invoice, okay? We need to pay on invoices, and I know some folks were concerned about uh, past few weeks, um, but I think instead of making a one instance case out of it, just a policy, and net 30, unless it's some kind of circumstance where I need to, to get somebody paid and we need to pay off the, the invoice. Okay. Any questions for the man? And we have to have a written one. Hmm? I think it depends on what the agreement is or what the quote or agreement is, right? I mean, we. I, well, I think <coughs> without an agreement, it'll be thirty net thirty. Right. Okay. Yeah. So um, anything different would have to be approved either by me or by this body, and I don't have any intention on approving anything <coughs> less than thirty days. With business. With business, paid contractors and that sort of thing. But I do get hung up on occasion. People come to me and say, "Man, I've been working on this house and." I just can't pay my materials bill. I need to need to get a draw so that I can go ahead and pay loads or pay pay the uh, material supply. So you're saying that going forward, you're going to honor your 30 day policy? Does gonna, council need to get involved, or you got this? I've got this. I just want to let y'all know. Okay. Any right. questions? And this is coming up because of the two day request. A what request? Because of the two day request. I had some council people question me about a check that was cut. Uh, I'll be very frank with you. A check that was cut that I authorized to be cut, uh, and it wasn't 30 days. And someone council were concerned about that amount of time, and uh, so I wanted to clarify. To a business. It was a business. It, it was a. It was a, a, the invoice was a business. Oh. So that uh, I know some some had concerns about that, but we want to clarify what's going on. 30, net 30, and we paid the invoice as it's received. Okay, because there are some concerns whether 10, uh, 1099 or W-2 or taxes taken out or taxes not taken out. There's some concerns about the way I handled something. And, uh, and the invoice is going to be paid to the business. Pardon? And the invoice is going to be paid to the business. Should be, yep. Not to an individual. Because it's paid to an individual, it needs to be as a W-2. Is this as happened? an employee? Has this happened? Yeah, you know, okay. I mean, right, so I don't think this is anything it? new. Several council people have approached me in the past well, week or so. What do we do to rectify it? I will stick with net 30 unless I have something, a reason to, to violate that or to change that. But I don't want it to be a strict rule. Uh, but I did pay an individual in less than 30 days. And uh, the invoice was changed. And uh, uh, we had a cancel check. And I think two or three on council approached me about it. And we're dissatisfied that that happened. Okay. Do you have any comments, Mr. Page? I'm sorry? Are you talking about my invoice? Is that what it's about? I sent a quote over, then the quote was approved by council. The quote says payment due upon services rendered. So, I mean, it last, uh, every event I've ever done, at the end of the event, Phillip's giving me a check. I mean, I, if there was an issue with an invoice, I wasn't told to me. Uh, so I think I from now on, I need to have an expectation to be 30 days. And uh, and when you send an invoice, they we need to pay the pay the company. That's fine. I called. I let them know the situation. He said, "Yeah, there's no problem." And I didn't know it was an issue. I didn't know it was a thirty-day deal. Uh, so. uh, clarifying and moving forward, that's what we'll do in the future. I got a question. I guess my question is: Okay, you have the Chamber of Commerce. You have uh, DBI. So, when these people say that they want to play 
for a certain organization. Is this bid it out or you just sign a paper or how does this work? I'm not really sure what you're talking about. Okay. So in other words, if okay, say DVI's got an event next Thursday. <coughs> I mean, well, two months from now. And if I wanted to play for it, mm -hmm. Or is it put off for bid, or how is this working? The procurement policy that this council has adopted is anything under $5,000, you don't have to seek bids. <clears throat> under $5,000, it can be the selection choice. Do you do we bid at things under $5,000? We do. Typically, we bid the flower plantings, something that Eric would typically bid on, which usually runs under $5,000. Uh, but in this particular instance, it was a $200 check, and uh, Mr. Page had done it in the past, and... Chastity called him and asked him to do it. If that's not pleasing, we can change the procurement policy if you'd like to do that. I think it needs to be changed because some people are saying they're not getting the first shot. And I would like to reiterate, Chastity mm -hmm. messaged me and asked me to put a bid in on it. I, put a I bid think we just it. said that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> My indigestion is, is the check was changed from, what, from the company invoiced? It was. To someone personal as I understand it was changed to Chris Page doing business right. as and then the it optics of that looked like something taxation or something was being circumvented that's uh, the optics of it okay I'm not, making any, I'm not making any accusations I'm just oh. saying that you know when we have when, when you have an invoice from a company and <clears throat> then the next thing you know that's not then we, we, that's not acceptable, and we have to make it out to a private individual. I'm wondering, I don't know about what, what that would entail. Do we do a 1099? What do we do? What, um, does, this, does this raise a red flag? Um, Mr. Van Orbeck, does this raise a red flag with, with an audit? Or <clears throat> My personal opinion, I think we spent a matter. We've explained to you what was going on. For $200, I don't think this is – you've just paid these attorneys to sit here for that long uh, to listen to this. So in the future, I'll move forward. I'll do it correctly, more pleasing to the council. I will, if you guys want me to, we can talk about procurement. We can talk about bidding process. We can do all those kinds of things. Um, I still want the flexibility if I need to pay somebody quickly. I can do so. I can get a check cut if Jackie's here, those kinds of things. So um, – Mm -hmm. Is an employer going into an employee asking for an exception to policy uh, for that. and another exception to policy on top of that within a very short amount of time? And I was uncomfortable because that's putting staff in a bad position as you are a person in a position of power over them. Didn't feel right. Well, well if I quote out a bid in the the payment is due when services are rendered and it's not given. I'm going to call the person who issued payment and say, hey, do you have a check for me? And maybe it we shouldn't do business with Well, I mean, that's fine. We can cut out all council do members. Do okay, can I, hang on. You have the floor. Can I have the floor? The quote was sent in as Christopher Page DBA Bright Lights Entertainment, which is legal. It's a sole proprietorship, and I have a DBA file with the courts. It's just because they wrote the check out wrong and had to change it. It's not my fault. I believe the invoice came in under Bright Lights Entertainment. But the quote was Correct. sent in under. Doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. So uh, you could always ask. Okay, so in the future, if I do any business with town, I will change the invoice to where the, to the DBA like the quote was given. <laughs> you guys did approve the bid, and the, the, that bid was the quote, and it was done. That bid and quote was given by DBA Bright Lights Entertainment, Christopher Page. So I think there was just a mix hat, and that problem could have been solved by giving a call. So the record is correct, and the record reflects right. the ladies cut the check correctly as you invoiced, and you asked them to change. Is that correct? Yeah. Let the record reflect accuracy now. You've made kind of a sweeping statement about Jackie. They're not doing something correct. You know she did it correctly. The problem is, hang on a minute. The problem yeah. is, is that I sent the quote with all the payment terms at the bottom. The quote has no bearing on the check. You guys approved it. No, I think it's no a legitimate question. Well, no, I'm not being able to answer it. You're not going to be They cut a check out the Bright Lights Entertainment, which that is what is on the invoice. You're right. Yeah. Don't throw the girls under the bus in the I future. The Thank you. That's all I ask. All right, let's move on, please. 
Yeah, please. Cause All right, you have, you, have in your, you have in your packet police report. Do you have any questions about the police report? Okay. My understanding, Mr. Miller, is that we don't have enough information to comment right now. So no, maybe maybe we can have a, a update tomorrow. We're going to be we're going to continue this meeting until tomorrow, Mr. Van Orbit. You think maybe we could have a, a little bit of a report tomorrow about the police the shooting today? Oh yeah. Maybe so. I, I don't have enough information. Don't. <coughs> don't even worry about it. Wait till tomorrow. All Keep right. Uh, one quick Absolutely. In, uh, is it in the informational package? No. It okay. goes back to bills that I completely forgot okay. to ask about earlier. Um, Jackie, or Ella, mm -hmm. back to the bills. We have DQ litter grant return in the if, amount of almost 14000 If you remember, Jennifer Hardy wrote a household hazardous waste bill inaccessible a year ago, and we received it, and I just couldn't get it done this past year. And so after the 1st of July, okay. I had been a household hazardous waste, and I just wanted to make sure this wasn't us just returning money, money that we didn't buy received. trash cans. And we okay. sent it back. We did. I had not had time to do a household hazardous waste bill. So. I remember that conversation and how we were going to determine when we got to $15,000 and all that. Okay, that's fine. We I just sent wanted to put money back. Thank you. Um, you, you have information in your uh, informational packet. Is there any questions? Any questions about the information in the package? Hearing none, uh, is there any other business to come before the council? We do have two. We do. We do. I'm going to take that up. Any other business before we go into closed session? At this time, I'm going to take a three minute recess. And I'm, yeah, I do. I do. I do. I'm ready to go home. Um, it, this is this is the time. This, this is this, this is the second time that members of the public can come up and speak to the council. Is anyone would like to speak to the council? If so, come forward. Hearing none, um, we we have two um, closed session items tonight. Um, one is for legal matters, and one is for a prospective industry. Um, Mr. M Mr. M Mr. Manager, do you foresee any action taken after these closed sessions? I do. You do? Okay. Yes. So those of you that would like to wait around, it seems that there may be action from council, but we're going to have a three-minute recess, um, and then we will come back, and I'll we'll hear a motion to go into closed session about these two items. We're in recess. I am so